Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. This is part four of the Corvette, the, the 95 Corvette headlight assembly repair. It was uh, the, sh the plastics on the uh, headlight. This plastic was broken. The substructure that this bolts to was broken. Um, to make things simpler. The last time I uh, uh the last uh, part three i painted this uh shroud for the uh headlight and i now have it all bolted back together it's pretty simple and plus i had to put the new um cover onto the frame assembly and that's a matter of uh four bolts which are here here and hidden under, hidden under there right now and then once those are bolted on then you put this cover on and there are two screws one down there one down here and one here and one here and it's done so now uh i just want to show I'll, now i'll show you how to simply put it back on since i didn't take it off on camera i'll uh, put it back on and uh i'll show you it's pretty simple it's just like four bolts uh, actually six bolts uh, uh and uh it's on and the plug in and it's done so anyway, we'll go outside and uh, assemble this beast. Decided to do it today because there happens to be a 50 degree day finally and 50 degrees to some may not seem like much but to those that have been living in uh, sub-zero weather for the last uh, month or so this is great so I've got everything set up this is uh, where the uh, everything bolts to it's it bolts to right there there here and here and then two two screws here I'll set the camera up here in a convenient location hopefully and uh, bolt this baby together without dropping it hopefully let's see here looks like that nice thing about this car as sacrilegious as it may sound many people drive their Corvettes in the in the uh, winter and it tends to rust you know they think it's fiberglass and It's not a big deal because fiberglass doesn't rust. But all the metal parts on the car rust, like the bolts and frame members and substructure. So it's nice that this car has never been um, in the salt. So all the all the All the uh, bolts and frame members, everything are in 
really good shape. They give you enough wiggle room on this on this assembly so that if you um, if you have to do some adjustment on the uh, headlight assembly so it centers into the opening you have that ability as you can see you got a pretty good pretty good gap going between uh, the the cover and the hood so I don't think we need to worry about that now all we have to do is bolt in the, the bottom uh, two bolts down here and it will be assembled And one final, one final, final thing we need to do is this plug, and it varies from model to model, and this is a fairly large one. This plug gets plugged back into the harness and then snaps into there. And this plug here is the headlight plug, or for the, uh, this plug is for the uh, light for the hood, but I'm going to leave that un unhooked because it's just a battery drain if you've got your uh, hood up. So, with that, I think we're good. I'll uh, I'll be doing some fine-tuning adjustment on on the adjustment for the fitment of the headlight, uh, but I won't uh, bore you with that on uh, on uh, this uh, little video clip. So it, I'll uh, I'll have that uh, have this uploaded pretty soon, and it's, like I say, it's a pretty simple, straightforward uh, deal. Uh, putting the headlight bucket back in. Uh, six bolts, it comes out, one plug, and you've got it. So, with that, I'll bid you a fare thee well. Have a great day. It's sunny here, so I'm enjoying the day. Please subscribe. The content will get better as the weather gets warmer. video after I put everything together and bolted everything up on the headlight I noticed uh, the cover was not uh, the cover on this side was not flat fitting flush on this side once I and that was with uh, that was with the uh, the framework of the headlight assembly bolted in place couldn't figure out why quick answer was the 
these bolts here, this bolt here, and this bolt here, and the two on the bottom side adjust the height of how this sits, sits flat, flush up against the the top of the uh, the hood. What what mine what happened with mine was this side was okay, this side was down too far. You can see, I don't know, I hope you can see that. You can see there's a adjustment because this lid just slides over the screw like down like that or up like that well mine was down too far so what I had to do is take you can't get to the bottom bolts to this without taking the headlight cover off so I had to remove this bolt and this bolt and then I had to rotate this is how you rotate it when it's not going anywhere. You rotate this by hand right there. You rot rotate it, that out there. And you take that screw and that screw out. And then the cover lifts off. Then you can get to the bottom bolts that are down in there and loosen the bolt that's on the downside that's equivalent to this one raise the cover up so it's flush with the uh, so it's flush with the hood and then tighten it down and then do the same with this one tighten it down and then once that's all bolted up and tightened down you just rotate this back into place and it's done flush because what what had happened on mine this side was way far way way too low and that side was way too low so i just had to loosen those bolts like i said raise that up to flush raise up the flush done deal so that the long and the short of it is how you put one of these uh, assemblies back into a 95 Corvette please subscribe have a great day